Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party-ish knockoff review. In today's video I'm taking a look at the ITF-01 Abyss. This is of course a bootleg version of the Transformers War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. I've already taken him out of the box just to make sure that he is all good. Uh, not really a fan of these boxes, very flimsy. Got a plastic clamshell on the inside there, but this was pretty cheap considering. The image of Abyss is the absolutely evil leader of Cybertron. Under his leadership, numerous planet energy has been looted. There is no limit to his ability and ambition. Uh, a couple of steals there stolen from the game. Nothing on the bottom of the box, a little bit on the top there. Without further ado, let's take a look. And here we have Optimus Prime in all of his goodness. I'm assuming they just use the same box for all of their figures because the way the box reads, that's the bio of Nemesis Prime or his uh, Shattered Glass equivalent. This is quite clearly War for Cybertron Optimus Prime now, of course. The original didn't a standard come with that axe. That is the KO of the Cobalt axe, I believe it is. A very nice looking weapon. Uh, I missed out on getting the War for Cybertron Prime first time round, and then I missed out on getting that huge oversized bootleg that Graham the Collector 75 he reviewed. Gorgeous looking figure. Uh, but this was on Sir Toys and I wanted to check it out before I ordered the other colors uh, and it's not bad it's not amazing it's not kind of the quality that we would associate with third parties uh, by today's standard but at the same time it's not terrible it's pretty similar to what I would have expected from Hasbro around say 10 years ago and he does still look the part albeit he's just a little bit rough around those edges. Getting up close and personal, you can see what I mean about that head sculpt's a little bit uh, rough over that faceplate, but the actual coloring on this guy is pretty nice. Uh, if you didn't know this was a KO, I'd assume you'd think it was an original product. I love the axe. That comes in uh, three pieces. You've got this piece here, this piece here, and the top piece. Uh, you build it yourself. He does come with his pistol as well, which bends in the center. Uh, he's a pretty sturdy figure, but at the same time, uh, albeit he's very well planted, there's something about the plastic uh, around the crotch and the hips. It does feel a little bit rushed, and you've got these sprue marks either side. Uh, yes, this is still a cheaper option, than if you were to go and get the likes of the Planet X uh, for the Cybertron Optimus, which, in my opinion, is a fantastic figure. But I really did prefer that kind of round uh, curvature of the War for Cybertron mold. It's just, uh, is it looking a little bit dated now? I mean, with the new Siege line and the War for Cybertron trilogy, uh, is this Prime going to be replaced? Uh, I, I hope not, because it is a really gorgeous looking Prime. I just wish they'd do this sort of Prime, but done into that kind of MP10 scale. Attaching his weapon, we can take a look at his articulation. The head is rather loose, but it does rotate left and right. It's ball mounted, and we can go up and we can go down. We also have that neck pivot there as well. The shoulders can come up and down, we come out to the side. I love the fact that this section here can move in unison as well. Shoulder tabs do have a tendency to slide down when you're trying to move any of the other joints. We have a rotation on the wrist there. So you can really kind of hunch up those shoulders as well. Uh, showing his age now, he doesn't have a waist rotation. It's all this front section here is locked into position. We do have hip skirts that can move forwards and backwards. We have legs that can come kind of this far forwards and this far back. A very unnatural looking pose there. Upper thigh rotation, incredibly loose. And we do get a double jointed knee. But again, very loose joints, no ratchets on this prime. And we get some rotation on the feet there, ball mounted so we can rock them forwards and backwards and we can get a little bit of pivot. 
but as you can see there, every time you try and pivot just where you want it, the ball will pop out of the socket. And to give you an, all, an idea of scale, here he is alongside some modern characters. There we have Rampage there, who is a Power of the Primes Voyager. Now I say Power of the Primes Voyager, that's actually the uh, Model Wizard uh, kind of bootleg, slightly upgraded-ish version, but it's exactly the same size. We have the Magic Square Optimus Prime, who is MP10 scale, so that's our MP look. And then we have one of my favorite characters from the Siege line, Skytread, uh, who is in theory a deluxe. So people have complained that figures have got smaller over time. I really think it's dependent on where you're looking. Uh, yes, the plastic has got a little bit more hollow, but uh, things like the Power of the Primes Predator King and figures like that, I think they still they're still very competitive when we compare them to some of the War for Cybertron and some of those Fall of Cybertron figures. I mean, the Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime was terrible, in my opinion. Now, I don't have the original War for Cybertron Optimus Prime, so if anybody could compare this kind of scale comparison, uh, just to give me an idea of how they fare, I believe this is the same size, but I could be wrong. I have been known to be wrong occasionally. <laughs> okay, according to my wife, more often than not. Now before we get Prime transformed up, we'll just take a look at his collector's card that we get. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, what's the original game done by Sega? Uh, I, I, I think not. I, I don't know, to tell you the truth with us. Optimus Prime Cybertron mode. Sega! There we go. Uh, let's get him transformed up. Our first port of action is to sort out these hands. Now they are going to flip down inside those arms. Let's remove his pistol. And again on this side, push that down inside that arm. Backpack section lifts up like so. His head is going to rock backwards into that void. And we're going to detach this crotch piece. Uh, the toes flip up like so, and the heel spurs are gonna flip up as well. We have all of this exhaust system on the side here. That's going to flip down, and the wheels are going to flip up and over like so. That's actually rather nicely done. And then we can move that back into position. So again, on this side, open, bring that down. That's a really nice tight piece. And then bring that back across. Prime's chest actually rotates around like so. Bring these arms up to the side and rotate this piece all the way around so it's now at the front bend at the lower hinge and slide that all the way down right so we want to bring this arm inwards like so rock this wheel tab up and then making sure that this rotates around we're going to bend this down and that's going to sit nicely in just behind this tab piece here and then bending the legs forwards. They're gonna sit in that void nicely. We can tab those in, bring these exhausts up, and using this tab here, this is gonna flip around and just line up, tabbing into this void here. So again, with this side, just move this section out of the way, bring the exhausts up, and it's gonna come around, and should, he says, line up nicely. Tabbing in at both that point on the wrist, and in nicely behind those front set 
of wheels, locking everything nice and firmly into position. We can then bring the exhaust system back. These pieces here will then come over and slide in. You can see how tatty that is around that exhaust piece where it's just not been copied very well at all. There we go, just push and lock that into position. These panels here slide down to the front and slide down to the front. This is then going to rock backwards. And then this here comes up and over and tabs in. And it's just a matter of making sure all of these are tabbed in where they should be. And then extending those bumpers just so they tab in either side at the front of that vehicle mode. So you have to tidy this up a little bit, making sure everything is tabbed in where it should be. And that is our Optimus Prime. We can grab your gun, fold the fin upwards, fold this tab back. And using this tab at the back here, that's just going to tab in behind like so. And doesn't that look absolutely glorious? Now there is a weapon storage space on the back of Prime uh, for this gun as well. Uh, but personally, I never use it. it. It's highlighted in the instructions. Look, just there, sits in behind his backside. But doesn't that look absolutely glorious? I think that is an exceptional version of Prime. Loved that War for Cybertron design. It doesn't tab in as beautifully as I would like, uh, but it's not half bad. It's not half bad at all. The colors are exceptionally vibrant. He rolls pretty nicely. Uh, the wheels are not as tight as I would like either, but that's definitely one of my favorite non-G1-esque vehicle modes for Prime. He looks exceptional, in my opinion. Now, shame on me for not having any appropriate scaled vehicles to compare him to. Uh, got this from Sir Toys, so I thought let's throw out some more Sir Toys purchases in the scale comparison. This is the MMP10, which is the a kind of cheapened copy of the Weizhang oversized MP10. And then we have the Black Mamba Scourge or Nemesis Prime, uh, still one of my favorite versions of that MPM mold. And obviously that again is an oversized figure, but uh, he is a good size. I just wish he was more of a kind of leader class the MP size just so I could display him proudly with my other Optimus Primes. It's really got my uh, hopes up for that new War Within version that's coming out. Uh, I liked the Spark Toys version, but it, it was just something that didn't quite hit the nail on the head, and that does look to be an exceptional offering. So if you have the original of this figure, do I recommend you getting this one? Probably not. But if you missed out and don't want to pay those huge scalpelicious prices then this could definitely be a very viable option for you it's a good looking figure pretty well made no breakages that i can see i know some people have experienced out of package breakage uh, i would get straight on to the store that i purchased it from if that is the case until next time for myself and the ko war for cybertron optimus prime aka tfo1 abyss thanks for watching Good. Bye.